but getting back to this game that I never left. See, when we get laced with the game, it's all about the flash of the cash. That's you what it's all about, man. Up. That's what it's all yeah. about, you know. So, in 1963, I got into the game myself. I took my first new Cadillac in 1964. I flipped Cadillac all the way up to a time to rehash off in the elevator company inside. So, by Mercedes and Rolls Royces, all that type of thing there. But, you know, that's what it's all about, the flash and the cash. Mm. And Virgil, and, and I want to say thing, one thing about Virgil. Right now, Virgil the rich in the game right now. So he ain't got to do no lines for me or, or, or nothing because ain't nothing equal. I got that he won't because he's driving the 2017 a Ghost Rolls Royce and living large and down, I ain't going to say what area he in, but he living large with about three, four mansions in one town. And I seen it all with my eyes about a month ago. Right. I seen all of it. So right. I'm keeping it real. I'm getting mad because I tell the truth, but I tell the truth and shame the devil. Because one thing I ain't is no hater. I ain't no hater. You know, hate is my blood. Right. I love everything right. that got to be down and put his ten toes down in the town. I mean, I give you, I salute you, Virgil, and I don't care what nobody else say because you showed me that you still been doing this since the day I met you in 1971. You ain't dropped the ball yet, just like Doobie. You and Doobie has yet dropped the ball. Y'all still driving Rolls Royces and having big money, and uh, Doobie he was doing that till the day he died. That's right. So Virgil, That's right. That's now right. you got to pick up the ball, keep dribbling it, cause we got to still have faith in prayers like you. Even though you're a little older than me, I still look up to you, my brother. <laughs> That's, right. That's right. That's what I'm talking about—the love. That's the love that we get. Yeah, Virgil just won a big trophy, and we just had a players ball up in San Francisco where they honored me, and Virgil, uh, uh, our film was slim, blessed him Mac of the Year. Well, how can you not bless him Mac of the Year? Couldn't nobody, can nobody be? Because you know what I tell a nigga? I don't care what you say you're doing, how you're doing it, the nigga with the most toys is the winner. That's how I see it. And then me and Virgil getting ready to sponsor because uh, I think we ain't got a bunch of phone calls about this dude saying he the baddest, this dude saying he the baddest. So I said, put your game on the table for a million dollars. How about that? <laughs> How about that? Put your game on the table and see if you can win a million dollars. I got a show coming like I'll call, put your game on the table for a million dollars. I'm trying to get the sponsors and I'm going to sponsor myself and we're going to put it together and we're going to find out who is the baddest that ever did it. On this planet of Earth, me, I retire. I am a player on pause, and I ain't pause. I can't push play no more. I don't want to play no more. I've, I've been to the ruler, to the tutor, all the way back. I've been with the best in the West. I done host with the most, and I did my thing from Shooter to MCA Records to the Jacksons to my son Jay Valentine, the Tank to Jamie Foxx, all that. I done been with all them people. With millions. I riding went from the cotton fields all the way to Hollywood Hills to rub shoulders with some of the greatest and richest motherfuckers that ever did it. In the music business, the game business, or whatever business you want to call it, I done hung with the best. So I rest. <laughs> I rest my, I rest my, I rest my reputation. So I rest. I told him quickly in this story, I'm going to take you on a journey into the darkest, most dangerous, secret parts of the world of pimp holes, drug dealers, and killers. I lay out my life and thoughts as against the pimp. And the rest of it, you got to read it and buy it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's, I remember that. I remember when you had see, said. See, one yeah. thing I want to tell every mother out there that's listening. I ain't, I ain't never professed that it was all about the wound. It exactly was about the wound and the spoon. I mixed my game because I had to eat. If the bitch got the cramps, I had to eat. So I mixed the spoon. Ha, huh, better ask somebody. <laughs> I ain't ashamed to claim it. I ain't ashamed to claim nothing that I did. But I did my time for it. Uh, 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 it is what it is. And... I, I have no more to say, really. I just did what I had to do. I started the game at nine years old, smokes out of control, on the streets all night trying to play that role. Yeah. And I played it well. Yes, you did. Yeah. Yes, they you can't did. say nothing. They can say, well, see, I'm documented. 
the tagger that I said I had. I'm documenting because it bit my daughter. All you got to Google is Ron Newton. And, and Ron Newton is tagger, Mr. Hiss, 1977. Uh, our pet lion get away and bite daughter. You, all you got to do is Google me and you'll see who the f I am. I've been arrested 165 times. How did I get out? I had money to get out. <laughs> yeah, that's how I got out. Yeah. And I escaped from prison. Yeah, before hold on, before we before we get to that, Ron, hold on. I want you to cause cause you know with you, eternity is not enough time to talk about the innumerable things you did in your life. So this is what I wanna know. How did you, you know what I mean, come up? What type of childhood did you have? We wanna see I how come, I come from a I come from a I was supposed to be a preacher. Okay. I was preaching at seven. I had eight, nine brothers, right? I got 14 brothers, half and whole. So I was preaching at seven. And my mama told one of my brothers, my oldest brother, Robert Earl, that little ain't nothing but the devil. If you slap that, he's not going to turn the other cheek. So I, and I, so as I was laying here, hands on my brother, Gene, she said, slap the that inside his head, my, uh, Robert Earl. And when he slapped me outside my head, I took a stick and mob stick and bust him upside his head. And she said, didn't I tell you he wasn't going to turn the other cheek? I, I, I was like, what she thought I was going to do? Just let him beat up on me? <laughs> Jesus wasn't no joke. So I'll go. Didn't they tell her that Jesus walked the bloody trail with the gangsters and the killers? Yeah. So my mama should have known. I knew something. So right. when my brother hit me with that stick, I, I mean, when, I, when my brother slapped me, he shit out of me, I had to hit that upside his head. Make him understand, you can't be slapping on me. Right. I mean, I'm preaching the word of God, but don't mean you gotta be no punk. <laughs> and so they kept on pushing me and pushing me until I couldn't take that child abuse shit with the stepfather trying to jump on me all the time because I'm hanging with the big boys down at the liquor store, you know, want to be somebody. I always wanted to be somebody because my daddy was sharp. My cousins were sharp, the Tatums and the Beasley, Charles Tatum and Willie Beasley and James Beasley. They were some sharp OGs, and I wanted to be like them, and that's how I got caught up in this game, man. Right, right. And what what age did you start, you know what I mean, dealing, dabbing, obtaining, and maintaining, and campaigning out here in them streets? When? What uh, age? About 14, 15, I started, man, uh, I used to get my hair done at Teresa Barbershop, and I had a long perm, right? I got out of the YA, and my hair was, had a great big old afro, and when they put that butter on it, they just dropped down my back, Lord, like, like Lord Jesus. And I said, oh, God. And Teresa said, oh, baby, you're going to be somebody. She said, you need to come back, boy, and see me in about a year or two. And what you think I did? That's mother dear. When I got back to Teresa Barbershop, every Film or tell you, oh, Ron, you ran that shop. That the, the old was his. That old was his. I was living in Twin Peaks at 16, man, overlooking all of San Francisco, man. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. when you and when you first started in the town, who was who was Giants at that time? You know what I mean? What what? Oh, name the, the Giants. Time, name. The hold on. It was name. The Magnificent Seven. It was a Magnificent Seven. Chuck White, Kim Hopkins. Uh, 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 Mickey Cohen, uh, uh, Chuck White, Chuck McCoy, uh, Red McDuff, uh, McDuff, Brother Ham, Napoleon, uh, the Ward Brothers, uh, it was, uh, 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 uh
And I mean, it was some of the best. Willie Brown was our lawyer for the hoes. The mayor of San Francisco. Right, right. And and and, and at that time, you know what I mean. When you, uh, this was coming up, of course, because I want you to give, because this, I want y'all to sit up there and get this from Ryan Newt now, because of course I know a lot of the youngsters they watched the Mac and they heard a little bit about the war. Oh, I'm in the Mac. I'm in the Mac. Right. When they say Mac of the Year, right. they put the camera on me to bring it back to the to the movie stars, but they put the camera on me. Right. Ah. Right. So okay, I want you to. Speak a little bit about the Ward Brothers and uh, the Mac movie as well. You know what I mean? I, w I just want to okay. hear your Frank take. Ward, I mean, Willie Ward and Ted Ward, it was like six or seven of them. When I come to, from, I had a partner named Little Butch. Bad mother. Uh, uh, Butch uh, used to spit them pigs, man. He said, man, we got to go see them Ward brothers. I said, Butch, how, what you mean? He said, man, all of them got El Capoleros, man. We was about 13, 12 or 13 then. And I said, where he at? He said, he over at the California Hotel. So we we, we got over there some kind of way. Uh, uh, somebody took us over there, man. And when we pull up, we see seven El Capoleros back to back. Frank Ward's car was in the front. And I said, and I, and I walked up to him and I said, brother, I, I just want to shake your hand and, 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 and make a friend. I, 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 man. What is, what is your, man, you guys are like movie stars. Yeah. They was half them cats, and in the, and, and, and in the room, Frank Woods had FW in his flow, right? And it was Capilano. Willie Ward had WW. Uh, Ted Ward had TW. Uh, Drew had his initials. It was just off the hook. It was, it was like the, if the California Hotel was just like a like a, a Las Vegas uh, a casino every night at that time, like right. it is in Vegas. Yeah. I just couldn't believe it. The holes and the boosters and the, uh, 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 all the Everybody that did something wrong, everybody had a profession, man. And you saw it going down, man. In this room, they was teaching them that, just like in the Mac. In this room, they was teaching them that. In that room, they was teaching them that. And I was like, damn, this is the school of the game, here. Yeah. Woo. Right. Shit. Man, when I went back to San Francisco, I had been laced with some of that East Bay Pimpin. <laughs> <laughs> right. And yeah, yeah. go ahead, go ahead, Bird. Real good friend of mine. Real good friend of mine. See, I still remember everything, man. I remember when they said Big Bird, I had a girl, a broad named Broham Kathy that was out of Los Angeles. The, the, she drove Cadillacs like she drove Cadillacs. She's rich <laughs> as hell. Am I lying, Virgil? That's true. She's bad. Broham, Broham Kathy, I right? Know. She said, Ron, I, I want to take you to Fresno. She said, I'm going to take you to Fresno to meet Big Virgin and Big Leroy. I said, okay, baby, let's go, right? We get down there, and I see these big old buff like a mother. They got saddlebags full of money, like the horses that you ride, and they have saddlebags over their shoulders, right? Right. And was just packed with money. And I said, what the f*** do they do, Kathy? She said, oh, baby, they do everything. I said, huh? She said, do you add it? And I said, okay. All right, baby. She said, but I'm going to give you a taste of, the, of what they do, baby, because I kind of like you. So I'm going to give you a little taste of it. I'll let you meet them. So you always have a club down here in Fresno if you ever need to come through here and be uh, 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 entertained, you know, Virgil, and you know, Big Leroy. And that's how I met Virgil, the, uh, Kathy, Broham Kathy. I hope you guys live as long as you want. And never want as long as you live, man. Y'all be blessed now.